Today, I'd like to pull the motor out of this truck. Why? Because it's 35 years old, that's why. And it was wore out 10 years ago and I've nursed it all this time and it's time to do something about it. Now, this thing smokes, it burns, about a quart of oil every 100 miles. It's just wore out. There's just no way around it and it needs to come out either for a rebuild or just an entire replacement. And we'll talk about that. I haven't made any definite plans yet. But the reason I wanna get this motor out today, I don't have parts or a motor, but I wanna get this thing out because there is a broken spot on the frame right here. Yes, this is the fourth spot on this frame I have repaired because it's been broken. Hopefully the last, but I'm not for sure. You know, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out as we move forward. In order to work on this frame properly, I gotta get the motor out. So let's get started on that. See how far we get. So in this truck is a Chevy small block 350, probably the most popular small block V8 of all time. Well, not probably, it is. This motor happens to be a mid eighties truck version 350. And I know that because I ran the numbers behind the driver's side cylinder head across my phone and it told me. So this is very likely the original engine that come in this truck when it was new. Now, growing up as a kid, my dad rebuilt these about on a weekly basis. And in our tobacco barn, we had a stack of small blocks, probably as tall as your head at least, probably about four feet deep and almost as long as a tobacco barn. And I remember crawling over top of those motors, parts motors, as a kid. You know, slipping down, getting my school clothes all greasy, getting yelled at by my mom. Definitely memories. So seeing as there's nothing in the way here, and this is pretty straightforward, let's see if we can't get this thing out of here. So me and my dad were talking the other day, and he remembers rebuilding these for just slightly over a hundred bucks for every piece and part on these. Pistons, rings, rod and main bearings, cam, lifters, all that stuff, all the parts, a little over a hundred bucks. You can't do that now. Although they're relatively cheap to rebuild, they're not that cheap. So I'm definitely gonna have to pick up some new heater hose. There's been a mouse chewing on this one. This looks like someone's old garden hose, and very likely may be, and it was on the truck, believe it or not, when I got it, and I've been waiting for it to break since, uh, since I got it, so it hasn't it's been pretty reliable, but I'm not gonna trust it going forward. Yeah, we'll just throw that down. I've got to get new fuel lines as well. All these rubber components are just shot. Huh, and a mouse chewing on this hose as well. Chewing on my fuel lines. Probably trying to get back at me from for tearing out their nests. Bobby, what are you doing, little guy? No. Nope. Oh, I think I got it. Oh. I'm going to hand Bobby some wrenches and let him do it. Huh? Now the pedal hook's here. Mm -hmm. And then this pushes on the transmission. Wow, i got to redo that. I can't have that. That's bad. Can you hand me that torch, please? Do you need a trench or not? Uh, no. <laughs>
So the modern mechanic, he's got it so much harder than the old school mechanic did in a lot of ways. These things, there was, you know, wasn't like there was you know, infinite space, but so much more space to work on these than what most of the newer vehicles have. vacuum hose. Wow, I'm blown away to find out that the motor mounts are bad on this thing. Who would have thought?
Glory to Bobby. <laughs> Bobby needs a haircut, Grandma. You need a haircut, Bobby. So do I, so don't feel bad. So there we go, final crack in the frame that I've seen repaired. Now, obviously we just hollowed out the crack, we welded it up, we even did away with the hole that was in the frame back here that wasn't used because the crack originated across that. So we welded all that up and then put a strap on the top of the frame and I may do one on the back side just to reinforce it in this area. Because if we didn't, and if we add any extra HPs to this thing, right, and stress it more, Chances are it'd break right beside my weld and then we'd be in the same situation that we that we were before this fix. 
So there you go, strapped it on top, took advantage of the two bolt holes that hold the motor mount down, so that should help. Skip welded it and did not weld it on the ends. Because if I welded it on the ends, chances are it just break there. So we left those not welded. So I think that'll work. A viewer sent me some information on repairing frames and they talked about repairs like this in that information. Not welding the ends, skip welding, strapping instead of just welding up the crack itself. It all made sense, so that's why I done it this way. And I think that that will work, especially, especially seeing as my plans are to add some extra, extra oomph to this thing. So it may be needed. So that looks pretty good. I'm really happy with the way that it all turned out. Motor popped out real easy, got this thing cleaned up. And I think that that is the last place on this frame that's gonna need patched. And I really don't know what I would do you know, other than what I did to make that repair much stronger. Maybe a couple more gussets on the side, but at some point that gets kind of overkill. And if we have any problems out of it, I can always come back and, you know, fix it a little tougher in the future. I don't want to overdo it because I just don't think that it's necessary. I really do believe that that'll hold just fine because it was cracked like it was since I owned this truck and hadn't gotten any worse. So that should hold. Now, obviously I'm a bit out of order. I did have that done last week when we installed the the winch but you know that's just the way it goes had the man flu that's what elizabeth calls it and uh you know just got a little a little out of order so we're finally back on track and hopefully next week if i can have the time to get everything together we'll have some really interesting content in regards to the the engine build for this thing i'm really excited about it i think it's going to be a ton of fun we're not building a dragster keeping it pretty budget-minded because we have to, uh, but we're also not gonna build Grandma's Buick motor either. This thing needs some backbone behind it just because it is the right thing to do. Ask anybody who does a, a restoration, you have to add some extra HPs to it or else it's just not right. So that's what we're gonna do and hopefully in the end, we'll have an awesome truck for it, for all the work, the extra work that's involved in that. And so that's it. Thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, anybody who's helped me out whatsoever. I appreciate it more than you can imagine. And maybe we'll have an extra little short video here and there. I've got a couple that are in the works. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. The birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. Hold on to your dream. Oh, I know you want to scream Since the day you're born You're just a flower on your own Waiting for the sun to blossom Hoping to break through